hey what is up with you welcome back to brand new video and on this video i'm gonna be showing you how to root any android device without using a computer without using any custom recovered like ttab rb or anything like that easy and simple of course so let's get started but before we get started i want to ask you if you are not a subscriber to my channel please subscribe to my channel i did the notification to get notified about new video and let's get started so as I just said, I'm going to be showing you step by step how you can get rid of SS on your Android device without using a computer, without using any custom recovery like TTAB URB, without unlocking the bootloader of your Android device, without hiring your device, of course, in just a seven minutes or five minutes, you will have root SS on your Android device. Easy and simple so let's get started by making some change on your android device we are going to enable some setting on your android device actually on developer option a go to setting over the setting of your android device scroll down to the last option about phone or about device find this option same bold the number click on it around seven times to activate the developer option on build the number I have you already that I am already a developer so I did a developer option and return by doing that you will find it there on the setting of your Android device the developer option available so if you can't find this option just click it out over here in the corner and this icon the cheesy icon there you're going to type with developer option and automatically it will appear the developer option of course click on it to open the rapid application it's gonna be just like this what you're going to do now just make sure to enable this one over here USB debugging mode enabled click it OK scroll down here on window animation scale you need to put the animation A off transition animation put the animation off as well animator duration put the animation off as well if you have a key if you have one gigabyte or two gigabyte of RAM memory you need to enable this option for GB unitary if you have a 4 gigabyte or higher you don't need to enable this option so i have a 4 gigabyte so i'm not gonna activate this option all right now i'm going to be showing you that i don't have root access to do that i'm gonna be using this app to do that i'm gonna be using this application root shaker the link will be available on the description of this video in case you want to know as well root shaker I'm gonna be using this one over here with the shaker to find out if my phone a uh, have root access or not. Click on accurate to proceed. Swap to the right to proceed. Swap one more time to the right and click right over here on get started to get it started. Of course, by doing that, it will a uh, open the rapid application. It's gonna be just like this. What are you going to do? Just to click right over here. On verify root all right just to click right over here on verify root by doing that the application start to work fine and it's going to tell you if your phone have root access or not as you can see sorry root access is not properly installed on this device okay now you need to download the application that i'm gonna be using to a uh, get root access on my android device the link will be available on the description of this video download the application it doesn't have a viral it's 100 on your device it's 100 percent safe download the app install on your android device this one over here the link will be available on the description of this video it doesn't have a virus it's pretty safe just to download on the description of this video install on your android device all right install the application and open it up This method is gonna work on any Android device on any Android version, so you don't need to worry about it. All right, then load the application install on your Android device. Open it up, it's going to be just like this. The first look of the application it is in Chinese, you don't need to worry about it. We will change that language later. By now, just to click right over here on this option, you see it is in Chinese, so I don't know exactly what they saying. Just to click on it, swap to the right to proceed, swap one more time to proceed. And click it out over here by doing that the application will ask you to give you permission to the application what you're gonna do just to click it out over here on this a option click it on it 
by doing that it will open up this window let's give you all the control to the application you can return it now all right now just to click right over here on this other option right over here click on it and just click it right over here okay give you all the control to the app you don't need to worry about it it's one on your device as i just said all right now the application is initializing what you have to do just be patient and wait all right the application has initialized it okay all right it's gonna be just like this the application is still in chinese first of all we need to change this word language to do that just to a uh, click on this right over here on this icon the setting icon click it on it scroll down find this a uh, option the word icon right over here click on the first option click on the second one now the, by doing that you will have there a, a lot of language you can choose the one that you want to apply on your device english look at the first place all right we have now a change the language now we need to make some change on this emulator just to click on the setting icon we are going to enable sensory to make it faster scroll down to the last option about phone now find the building number click on it around seven time to activate the developer option by doing that you will have their developer option unlock it on your android setting if you can't find this option as we did on the start just to click right over here on the say on the cheesy icon developer option open it up Make sure to enable USB debugging mode. They are over here. Click it OK if I ask you. We are going to do the same process as we did on the start. Window animation skill. Put the animation off. Transition animation off. Animator duration. Put, put it off as well. Here on 4th GB, you don't need, even if you have 8 gigabytes of RAM memory, you need to enable this option. It's mandatory here on this emulator. Enabled okay now you can return all right now i'm gonna be installing here a root checker to find that if this have root access through that to install application here on this emulator just to click right over here on this application right over here click on it by doing that it will open this window click right over here on the first option by doing that it will open it up all the application which are installed on your android device just Select the one that you want to install. I want to install the root shortcut. Just click it on it and click it right over here. Right over here. Is this started now? You can return. Just to return. Okay, as you can see, we have it installed now the root shortcut. Open it up the root shortcut. Agree. Same process as we did on the start, get it started. Click on verify root. As you can see, congratulations, root ATS is probably installed on this device. Easy and simple without using a computer, without hiring my device, without using any custom recovery like TWRB. Okay, guys, I will start from here. Hope this video helped you out. If this video helped you out, of course, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet. I leave the notification to get notified about a new video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.